Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I got this leopard print look inside of the um, 3D Cross SVG that I sell in my Etsy shop. So if you see the SVG in my Etsy shop, this is the exact um, photo that you'll see for the cross and you'll see it says, use this to make this. Um, but how is the question that I'm getting asked. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And I do it in a program called Inkscape. So let's get Inkscape pulled up here. Um, I have another video that I'll link to right at the top of this one um, that will show you how to download Inkscape and how to get it all set up so that it looks exactly like my screen here. So first of all, we need to get that SVG pulled into Inkscape. So to pull in an SVG, you're going to come to File, Import, and then you'll just go find wherever you have your SVG saved. Mine is in a folder here on my desktop. Let's see. There it is. I just double clicked and it has pulled it into Inkscape for me. Now the first thing that I need to do is lock my screen. With it locked, I can resize this cross however I want, and its scale stays the same. It does not get skinnier or wider or anything like that. So make sure you very first lock your screen. Okay, now there are two layers here. Let's come to our layers. We've got this um, layer here that's the pink one, and then we have the layer that is this black layer with the little lines in it. We need to separate these out. So we need to ungroup this just like we would in um, Cricut Design Space. There's two ways to do that. You can come up here to Object and you can ungroup and it will pull it apart for you. Or on your keyboard you can hit Control Shift G with this whole thing selected and it will ungroup it for you that way as well. So now I can separate out the pink part from the black part. Okay, so let's look at this photo again. We see I've got this leopard print here, but I also have a solid color on the sides so that it doesn't get too busy and we can see all the extra little um, elements of this file. So what I want you to do is turn this the solid color. Let's just say it's this color here. So that if we put this cross back on top of it, you can see that it's now filling in all those areas. And we're going to leave that alone for now. Now we need to fill in just this portion with the leopard print. What I'm going to go over next is mainly just for the purposes of this video. This tool that I'm going to use does a lot of different stuff and it can be really, really confusing. But just follow along and it should start to make sense as I'm going through these steps. Okay, so this as a whole we need to go over here for our finished project. So I'm going to duplicate this and move it over to the side. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate and that gave me my second one. If you don't want to use the keyboard, you can also come to edit and duplicate and it will duplicate for you as well. Okay, so we've got this going on here. It's looking good. We're going to leave that alone. This guy, we want to leave only the inner cross and get rid of everything else. The way we're going to do that is we're going to open up our nodes editor. So you'll click this little guy here, edit path by nodes. And then if I click this, you'll see all the different nodes that are in this SVG. Okay, now with everything selected, with all these nodes showing, I want you to come to Path and Break Apart. Okay, what this did, did you see this panel explode? Like watch, I'm going to hit Control Z. That erased everything I just did. I'm going to do it all over again. I'm going to select it so we can get all of our nodes. Now watch this path over here. When I hit path, break apart, wow. It literally pulled out every single little line that was in here and it separated it out. So there's a ton of stuff here. I'm gonna come back to my arrow, my selector tool, and I'm gonna start separating it out. 
Ah, oh, let me ungroup it. Okay, <laughs> now. So you can see I've got this main thing, which is exactly what I had over there. It was that one that we turned to that goldish color. I've got this, and each one of these is separate. But I don't need any of this. So I'm going to drag a box around all of that and delete it. I also don't need this because it's what I had right there. I'm going to delete it. What I need is this guy. And this is what we're going to place over here and put the... Um, cheetah pattern in so or the leopard print let me get my pattern and all the patterns are done with digital paper you can download digital paper from tons and tons of different places but I get all of mine from creative fabrica so file let's get this digital paper in here so I've got a folder on my desktop called digital papers and this one is right here this is a whole pack of kind of ombre leopard papers I will link to it I got it from creative fabrica but this is the one I used um, in the image on my Etsy shop so I'm just gonna double click and it will bring it in now it's a little large I'm gonna scale it down and I'm just gonna place it over here on top of the cross I've got a lag going on on my computer right now. Okay, and I want to move it underneath the cross so that I can see where the cross will be on top of this design. So with my digital paper selected, I'm going to use my arrows that move things up and down. This one will put it all the way to the bottom. So now it is under my cross. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to slowly bump my cross down because of the lag that I've got going on on my computer right now. Okay, so there. Now we can have the cross on top of the leopard print. If you want to see what that is going to look like inside of your cross, select your cross, come over here to your fill and stroke tool, and take down the opacity of the cross. It's at 100, that makes it a solid item. But if we take down its opacity, you can see it's like starting to disappear. And now you can see exactly what parts of this leopard print will be included in your cross. I'm gonna pull my opacity back up. That looked good to me, that seems like it's gonna be a good cross. Now I just need to put the print in the cross. To do that, I'm going to select both of them together. So I just drug a box around everything here so they are both selected. And I am going to go to Object, Clip, Set Clip. Magic! I now have the pattern inside the cross. Okay, what I want to do now is change this to be a color that's inside of here so that it looks natural to the project. So, I can come grab this little eyedropper thing here. It's going to let me pick any color from any image that I want. So while I've got it selected, I'm going to drag it over maybe this um, darker image. Can you all see that? Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. Okay, here's my eyedropper. If I hold it here, you can see that it is picking up this darker creamish color. I'm going to select it and it just turned my cross that color. Let me make this smaller again. Okay, let's go over that one more time. I'm going to hit Control Z to change it back to the color that it was. Now if it, I have it select, I had it selected. If I deselect it, I get my dropper tool and I pick its color. Nothing happens because I don't have anything selected. I first have to select what I want to change the color of. I'm going to select this cross, get my dropper tool, pick the color I want it to be, and it will then change that color. Now, if I take all three of these items, I have drawn a box around all of them with my mouse, and I come to my align, and I align them horizontally and vertically, and then I send this one to the very back. I have the cross that I wanted. This just needs a little adjusting. 
I'm going to make my screen bigger so y'all can see it and kind of center it. And then I'm just using the arrows on my keyboard to kind of bump this um, leopard exactly into position. And there it is. That is how, let me put it on top of the white workspace. That is how I filled the middle portion of that cross with the leopard print and I left the solid outline border. So I'm going to delete some of this. And remember that break apart tool, what it does is literally pull out every single node and break it down node by node by node so that you can edit any tiny little bitty piece of anything that you want. So I'm going to break this apart one more time. Nodes, click it to show my nodes, path, break apart, Click my selector tool again, and you can see with all these boxes still here, each one of these boxes is a separate thing that I can pull out. So if I ungroup this whole file and I just start pulling things off, I can pull out all of these separate little things. Why we would ever want to do that on this file, I have no idea, but that is how the break apart works and how we use it to get the three different layers from this two-layered design. All right, that's all I've got. We'll see you next time.